All right then. So for this year's Premier League team, right? Last year, I basically we I was in two leagues. I was in my football teams league, which I came about seventh or eighth, roughly. I didn't do too well. But with my mates, I came top of the league. So I actually won it last year with my mates, which was good. Um, I don't know how I came eighth in one and won the other. I don't know. I guess my mates just don't know football, maybe. <laughs> They'd love to hear that. Um, so this year, I kind of want to do better in my football uh, team's league, obviously, and retain my title with my mates. So we need to do well from the get-go. Now, I didn't start very well last year. I didn't start off the year very well. Uh, throughout the year, though, I moved to using Mohamed Salah as captain. He saved me a lot. And I also had uh, Man City and Liverpool fullbacks as my defenders, uh, namely mostly Robertson, Trent and Cancelo, making up a lot, a lot of my... Um, a lot of my points. So I think I'm going to do something similar this time around. Um, it's going to be tricky though. So let's let's just try. Wait, can I? How do I do it? Add player. Let's just try doing this first. I get the three in that I want. Um, why is it only showing me these? Is it? Do I click on goalkeepers? Ah, here we go. Okay. So ooh, Fabianski would be a good shout. I need to double check prices here now. So. Okay, 78.5 left. Now, I went with Jose Sa a lot last year because the Wolves' defence was really, really good. Um, I tell you what, Nick Pope at Newcastle might not be a bad shout. So, uh, I think I might actually go with Pope. I think I'm going to go with Pope. Uh, I'm going to go for the second goalkeeper. I'm going to go with the cheapest. So, I'm just going to go with uh, this guy, Sa. Sarkic, is it? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so midfielders. Uh, cheapest defenders again, maybe? We're just doing this for now. See what happens. Uh, so we're just chucking any old ones for now. And then we'll figure out what we've got later on. I'm going to go to the attackers now. Now, I was going to do Erling Holland. Kind of feel like... I kind of feel like Kane is the... Wait, where's Holland? He's not here? What the hell? Why is Holland not here? Is he a midfielder? There's no way he's a midfielder. Where's Holland? Okay, he's there, but why isn't he... Why wasn't he available... I don't know how this works. Why is he not there? Oh, wait. Sort by total points. No, price. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So, Holland or Kane? I think... I don't know. I actually don't know with this one. This is probably one where I'm going to put... put one of them in and then a couple of days later i'm going to change it so i'm not really sure let me know what you guys think um is there anyone here leroy yes he's here how you doing mate sorry i didn't check my chat for a while uh you put holland right i need to figure out how to get my chat up bowen is too expensive this year is he i'm not surprised i'm not surprised uh, right, so yeah, I need to figure out now Kane or, or Holland. I think just because Leroy's popped in and said Kane, I'm uh, in Holland even. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with Kane. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up. Right, so how much does that leave me? Forty nine. Uh, that's not a lot, is it? I think I'm gonna have to really make adjustments here. Maybe this guy's got to go because he's not the cheapest. Clearly, am I sorted by price yet? Yeah, now I am. So, surely there's someone cheaper. Yeah. Ah, we'll go Joe Rogan. There we are. All right, Leroy, how am I looking at the moment? Have I spent too much already? Probably, right? Let's go with... Um, we'll go with a top midfielder. And then we'll try and... We'll try and be a bit more... Conservative with our choices. Now, Salah, I don't actually think is going to have such a good season. 
this year, I don't think he's going to... I think he's going to have a good season, but I don't think he's going to have as good a season as, as the previous. Now, that could be completely false and wrong. Yeah, I agree. I, I do have three big ones in defense at the minute, which could hurt me. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens now when we do this. I'm thinking Son. But 12 is a lot. 12 is a lot. Wow, Bowen is expensive. He's one of the top midfielders. Jeez, good for him. Uh, Kulizewski I'm interested in. Uh, Mares, Luis Diaz. Saka. They're the ones that are springing to mind at the minute. Bernardo was pretty good for me last year, but he was on and off, wasn't he? He wasn't always so great. Now, James Ward-Prowse is a good cheap one because he's always like a solid player. He's always playing. And you want that. You want players who are always playing. Erdegaard as well. Ooh, do you know what? Erdegaard. I think I'm going to go with Erdegaard for now. 43. All right, I need to figure out what formation I'm going to do as well. Um, so if I do three, 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 five, two, or three, four, three. Ooh, I think I think a three, five, two. So if I pick a super, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to rush through this a little bit now. See what I've got, and then um, and then we'll do some editing at the end. So, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Okay, now let's pick. Let's pick a cheap-ish attacker. We'll pick a cheap-ish attacker. Uh, and then I proceed to go to the most expensive attackers. Yeah, good idea. Um, who the hell is that? Skamaka. Never heard of him. Ooh, Alvarez. But Alvarez is getting loaned back out, right? Or is he... No, he's not here this year, is he? But he'll be on the bench a lot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Mbwemo is not a bad idea. That's a cheap, cheap one. Jimenez is... What, is he injured or...? Knee injury unknown. He's so unlucky. He had like one amazing season and he's just had injuries ever since. What a tune, by the way. Tony, I don't really see him popping off, to be honest. And Ketia, maybe. Yeah. Gabriel Jesus, I'd love to put in, but I don't think he's going to do too much for me. In terms of price, by the way. Uh, Brennan Johnson could be an interesting one. Maybe he'll have a cheeky season. Kiefer Moore. Ooh. I'm going to, for now, I'm going to go with Mbwemo. For now. Just to see how much I've got. I've got 33 left. Okay, so let's put in Son. I'm going to have to have a cheapish one now. So, Jamal Lowe. Ramsey's not a bad one. He did quite well for me last season. McGinn, maybe. Pepe, no. Ben Rama. Ooh. Lingard's an interesting one. Lucas Moura as well. He'll play quite a bit. Joe Linton. Bruno Gomarish. That's not a bad idea. <sighs> Some quite good options here, isn't there? How much do you reckon Gallagher is going to play this season? Tony Martial could be a rogue choice. You thought I would have gone with Darwin? Nah, he's not proven enough for me yet. I haven't seen enough of him. Yeah, he scored like what seven goals and two friendlies, but I hope he does well. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go for retaining my title. I'm not going to base it on him, you know. Where is uh, is Ronaldo off then? Is he has he packed his bags? What's the score with that? I keep hearing that he's going. I keep hearing he's staying. Uh, for this one, I might go with Jesse Lingard. I think show like seeing what he did at West Ham. Now I know West Ham are going to be a lot better than Forest, but. 
I think he'll do really well at Forest. So I, I'm going to go with Lingard. Which leaves me two more spots with 15 left. So I could go six and a half each. No, sorry, seven and a half each. Superb maths by uh, EMP93 there. Um, <laughs> he's, he's on the 111 bus to Swansea train station. <laughs> uh, right, so uh, I'm going to go. Wait, how many? Uh, I've had. But I could get rid of Rodan and I could go Kulazewski. Ooh, Foden, Mares, Luis Diaz. <sighs> no, I need to do one of these. I think I'm going to go with Mares. Uh, which leaves me with seven left. Coutinho, Zaha, Greed. Ooh. Ah. Smith Rowe, is he going to play this year? Because he didn't he like not play much at the end of last year? Smith Rowe's hot and cold. Sun is guaranteed, hundred percent. Yeah. He is. He is guaranteed points. Oh, now then. Olise or Eze? I really liked Olise last year. Oh. I think I'm going to go Olise. Wait, I haven't even checked what the, the fixtures are. That should probably be my priority, right? I have not even checked fixtures. So we've got Palace Arsenal. I think, I think Arsenal should win that. Harrison does, yeah, Harrison's got a lot to prove, yeah. I'm interested to see what Leeds do this year. I really am interested to see what they do. Right, I, I yeah, I should have checked these fixtures. So, we've got Palace Arsenal. How many transfers do you get a week? Is it two? I think it's two, right? So, maybe I shouldn't go with Elise. Uh, Liverpool should beat Fulham. Villa, you'd like to think, would beat Bournemouth. I think Wolves Leeds would be a tricky game. Newcastle Forest would actually probably be a trickier game than we would expect, although it is at St James's Park. Spurs should beat Southampton. Chelsea Everton, I think, is going to be a close game just because of Frank. I think he'll make it tricky for Chelsea. Uh, Leicester and Brentford could be an interesting game as well. Brighton will beat United. Uh, and West Ham City. Wow, we got some really good games actually for the opening day, uh, opening weekend. Hmm. Who are Brentford playing again? Leicester. Actually, I fancy Mbwemo against Leicester. Bruno Gomares. Yeah. You know what? Who is Newcastle playing again? Forest. I like that. I got Lingard in there, but I do I do like the the look of that. Where is he? I think he's in the, no, is he up here? Oh, here he is. All right. So what does that leave us with? That leaves us with one mil left. So I could replace him Bueno for a a seven mil striker. These aren't striker. Oh, I got a. Yeah, but Arsenal have looked really good this uh, preseason. Then again, Gabriel Jesus is going to be striker, isn't he? So in unless they play two up top, which I doubt they will, Nketiah is probably going to be on the bench. So... Who are Villa playing? Bournemouth. Danny Ings could be a shout, you know. I want to know who this Skamaka guy is. Like, who is he? Gianluca Scamacca. Where did he come from? Influence 57 and 59. 57, 59 creativity. It's just 57 all, all across the board. Out of 59. And he's 7 mil. Like, so he must be somebody. Like, who is he? I feel like... I feel like I recognize the name. He, I, I think he's Argentinian. If my FIFA memory serves me correctly. Let's have a look on foot then. 
I think he plays in the Argentinian League, or did play in the Argentinian League. Oh no, 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 that's not who I'm thinking of. So he played for Sassuolo. Scamacca. Four star skills. 23 years old. Could be a bit of a dark horse there, Leroy. Yeah, I think it's Gabriel Jesus has got that proven pedigree, isn't he, in the Premier League? Yeah, team's going to use one striker, yeah. That's what I was thinking as well. Um, is there anyone else I could thin out? I could thin out a defender. I could maybe take out one of the Liverpool defenders. Oh, Rhys James. You know, it gives me an extra 150. Perisic. No, Perisic. Perisic, Perisic. I forgot about this guy. Right, I can't have... Can I have four of the same team? No. Right, so I need to get rid of Rodon. Perisic, 100%. Uh, Conte will play a 3-5-2 or something of, uh, of that variety. And uh, Perisic would be so good for them, I think. I think Perisic is the one. Rhys James is injury prone, yeah. Trent will be highest scorer. I find it hard this year. All the players who had last year have gone up. Yeah. Yeah. No surprise there, really. So you, do you think I should go with Trent instead of Robertson? Uh, yeah, probably right. Anyway, you're probably right. Seeing as Perisic is so cheap, I guess I could do that, yeah. I just hope he plays because he's getting on a bit now. But he is an attacking... Fullback, isn't he? He's more of a winger. Trent over Robo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Trent has only really got Gomez as competition, right? Whereas Robo's got Nico, Will Nico Williams and. No, wait, Nico Williams is a right back, isn't he? Is he on loan? No? He might be on loan. Um. Okay, so that leaves us with 8.5. Oh, Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus. Yes, I can get Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. All right, so we are lining up with our starting 11 is going to be Pope, Perisic, Trent, Cancelo, Odegaard, Son, Lingard, Mares, Bruno Grimares, Kane, and the baby Jesus. Thoughts? Williams is gone, is he? Right. Thoughts? I think uh, I think that's pretty decent. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty decent. There we go. What I might do as well, I don't know, should we, we could do it now, but I was thinking for like YouTube, we would do this like every week after the game but also do like predictions. So I would like, I don't know, do like a little Photoshop thingy and I'd predict, do my predictions for all of these games for the game week. And then like, if you get the score correct, the result and the score correct, it's like three points or like four points maybe. And then if you get the correct outcome so let's say i guess 2-0 arsenal but arsenal only win 1-0 i would get one point and then obviously if you get it wrong you get zero points so we could do like a cheeky little league together you know so we could do it on stream put it on youtube comment comment section and then we could build like a little league table or something that could be fun couldn't it and then every week we'll just like every tuesday or something we'll do this the fantasy i'll update it Pick, pick my team for the next week. Review what the results were in my last in the last week week of game. Do the league, and then do the predictions. Yeah, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. So might as well do that now, then, right? Chuck it in with yeah. Let's do it now. All right. So I'm gonna need a little, a little sticky pad. Sticky pad. Anything that keeps me off FIFA, basically, I'm up for. What are they called? Those little bits of paper with the sticky, sticky, 
I can't remember what they're called. I have an app for them, but I, I can't find them. Um, where are they? Sticky notes. Yeah, something like that. Sticky. That's it. I found it. Sticky notes. Okay, doesn't matter. Right. So, what was the first first game? The first game is Palace. And Arsenal. I'm just going to do this quickly. So um, I'm going to say I am going to go with 2 0 Arsenal. I'm going to go 2 0 Arsenal. Right. Fulham. Leroy, if you want to do yours as well. Uh, Fulham, Liverpool. I'm going to go Fulham 0, Liverpool 3. Uh, Bournemouth. I wish I could show you guys what I'm doing here. Uh, actually, no. What you guys watching me type is not something I would like to happen. Uh, Bournemouth Villa. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say one all. I'm gonna go one all. Uh, what I might do for the if I do upload this to YouTube, I might do like a little graphic uh, thing for this, just so that I can see. Uh, sorry, yeah, the sound alerts aren't working for some reason. I need to figure that out. I haven't been on this in so long. I don't know what's going on. Uh, you'll send it later? Nice one. All right. Uh, Leeds against Wolves. Uh, I think Leeds are going to win. I'm going to say 2-1 to Leeds. Newcastle against Forest. Uh, I'm going to go with... Ooh, that's a tough one, actually. I think it's going to be a cagey affair. I'm going to go 1 0 to Newcastle. I'm going to go 1 0 Newcastle. Spurs Southampton. I think Spurs are going to be doing really well this season. I'm going to go 2 0 Spurs. Uh, Everton. Everton against Chelsea. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with 0 0. You know what? I'm going to go with 0 0. I'm going to go with nil-nil. This is kind of off the bat. I think in the future I'm going to like do proper, not research, but like think about these properly and uh, and do proper predictions. These are just kind of looking at the teams. I don't really, I don't really know the full transfer stories with all of them either, you know. So Leicester Brentford, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go two all, two all with that one. Like I don't, I haven't got a clue who Leicester have signed. I haven't got a clue who Brentford have signed. So obviously, I'm just basing it off last year almost. Um, but you know, the next one we will uh, we will do properly. United against Brighton. I feel like Brighton always do well against United. Well, they have recently. Didn't, didn't they smash you last year? Leroy? I'm pretty sure they did. I think it was like 3 or 4 1 or something, right? Um, but I don't think it's going to be like that this year. I think United under 10 Hag. Uh, I think they might be alright, you know. I think they might do well. But just to piss my mate off. I'm going to go with 2-1 Brighton. <laughs> uh, <laughs> United couldn't hit a cow's ass with a banjo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> West Ham City. I think it's going to be a very close game. And I think the scoreline is going to flatter City. But I think West Ham are going to do actually better in the game than the scoreline will suggest, but I'm going to go with 2-0 City. All right. So, yeah, if I do do a video now, I should have a graphic here now with my predictions. So I've got Palace, nil, Arsenal, 2. Fulham, nil, Liverpool, 3. Bournemouth, 1. Villa, 1. Leeds, 2. Wolves, 1. Newcastle, 1. Forest, nil. Spurs 2, Southampton 0, Everton 0, Chelsea 0, 
Leicester 2, Brentford 2, United 1, Brighton 2, West Ham 0, Man City 2. So, like I said, I mean, we could alter this, you know, it's, it's up for discussion and debate. We could do, if you get the correct outcome and the correct score, so if I get, you know, if City do win 2-0 against West Ham, I get four points, or you get four points if you get the same. Uh, yeah, see you later, Leroy. Cheers, mate. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Uh, four points for the correct score and correct outcome. But if you get the correct outcome, but not the correct score, what do you think? One point? Is that is that enough? I think I think if you get the correct score and outcome, you should get good amount of points. I think four, maybe three, but I don't think three is enough. We could just go three, one, no points. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat what you think. Um, but we'll run it like that for now. And if you want to leave, if you're in the Twitch stream, you can jot it down. I'll catch up with it later and I'll put it down into little my little notebook or something. And on, on the YouTube, you can put it in the comment section. And as long as it's obviously before the games have taken place, I will count it and you can be put into the league as well. And also, if you are watching and let's say you're going on holiday and you won't be able to um, keep up with the videos or whatever and you still want to do the league, you can you know, go ahead, if that makes sense, right? So you could do like a couple of weeks ahead, let me know what they are and I'll drop them in for you. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just throwing ideas around. Maybe we won't do any of this, but I think I think we should. I think we should. I'm up for it. So I need to save that. Is that save if I close that? I hope so. Um, yeah, so see how that goes, I guess. Um, and I'm going to go and play on FIFA now. So thank you, YouTube. See you in the next video. Take care.